welcome back sports gamers it's the natural got the madden 22 wide receiver ratings for you guys today took care of the rookies now we're on to the wide receivers got my main man four verts in the house to take you guys through not just the ratings but the full analysis of each player let's get right into it and thank you for joining me today yeah i'm excited we got the pass catchers up here first a little bit of controversy here at the bottom and we'll get right into that all right we got alan robinson the second starting right off at the bottom of the list yeah, so that's probably where most people are going to have some issues here. Um, Allen Robinson, obviously a great receiver, but there were some people that thought maybe uh, Justin Jefferson or, or DK Metcalf could have gotten this 10th spot. But when you look at the ratings here for Robinson, didn't get a lot of favors by the, the ratings adjusters. 89 speed, um, not particularly standout-ish in any particular area. Um, really bottom of the barrel, I should say, as far as the top 10 wide receiver may go. Um, his one redeeming value here, at least as it reflects in the top 10, 98 catching does put him number three overall in the catching category. Yeah, he's definitely got those hands, but definitely, I'm sure, compared to a DK Metcalf, not going to have that speed, not going to have those physical traits that a Metcalf has. So he might even actually play worse within the game. Metcalf actually might play better on the field than Robinson, even though he's rated higher overall. Yeah, for sure. All right, moving right on. We got Mike Evans from the Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, and that Lombardi trophy didn't do Mike Evans any favors here. Obviously, still the number nine overall rated wide receiver. But when you look at some of these physical attributes, it's pretty interesting. He, he's 90 speed, 89 acceleration, but then things kind of go downhill. 84 agility, uh, his change of directions in 83. It's going to be like trying to steer a 1965 Cadillac. I don't think that dude's going to turn very quickly. So uh, he's got the catching stats, obviously 97 release, uh, 97 spec catch. So he's got some things going for him. You're just not going to do much with him after the catch. I mean, the biggest question for me on this one is, is he even the best receiver on his team? Yeah, the answer is yes. He, he definitely still is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're right on to Amari Cooper, which for me is the only probably receiver on this list that raised the eyebrow because he's had some great games and so, some not so great games against good competition. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in here and I will say Amari Cooper, another one people are probably going to bash on a little bit. And it's probably related to, uh, you know, one of the guys and, and his love of Cowboys. But let me defend it a little bit here. Amari Cooper only has had one sub 1,000 yard season his whole career. That was an injury shortened year. Last year, he did go over 1,000 yards. And that's with Andy Dalton and a bunch of dudes I've never heard of throwing him the football. So still a very productive receiver. When you look at his stats, kind of reminds me a little bit of Allen Robinson. You know, again, you know, 89 acceleration, 91 speed, not athletically imposing. Um, you know, 91 jump, the lowest of the top 10, where he does have some things going for him. 88 spin move, highest of any of the, the wide receivers here, excuse me, second highest. Uh, but across the board, he's not going to impress you with any particular stat, at least as it relates here to the other top 10 wide receivers. Yeah, it seems he will definitely be able to get some, something done after the catch with those abilities. Um, speaking of someone who does things after the catch, Keenan Allen from the Chargers there, someone who probably uh, every year, he, I feel like he comes out with a video where how he feels disrespected by his Madden rating. I'm not sure if this year will be uh, he'll be the same way. Yeah, he's probably not going to be too happy about this. 93 overall is not bad, uh, but 88 speed, and, I, and his speed has dropped, I believe, from last year to this year. 88 speed, uh, not going to really run away from a whole lot of people. Um, his catching stats, though, they're, they're pretty solid. His route running, 94 mid, uh, does put him about middle of the pack here for the top 10. 95 release is, again, very solid. But you're starting to see a theme here, right? Like this bottom 10, there's really nothing spectacular. They, they're all kind of similar. Um, they each have one trait they're pretty good at. It's really in that top four or five where you're going to see some of these guys really separate themselves. So it almost feels like the top 10 really is like two tiered, the top five, and then this bottom five that we'll finish up here in a second with. Yeah, for sure. Uh, moving on to Michael Thomas, someone who had did have some injuries. Um, he had dominant years in the past where he was a part of 99 uh, club at some point, uh, but he's fallen from there, but still a top tier receiver. And if we were talking about Keenan Allen being mad about his speed, uh, Mike Thomas is probably standing in line raising his hand as well. 87 speed. Um, now, when you talk about Madden threshold, 87 speed, I think, probably puts you out of a lot of people's usability area. So that'll be interesting to see how people use them, especially in franchise. Um, now, some things he does have going for him. He does have 96 catch in traffic. 
uh, which puts him, excuse me, 98 catch in traffic, which puts him second of, amongst the top 10 receivers. So he does have that going for him. He's going to get the contested catch. 96 release will get him off the line. 97 regular catching. So he's got some things going for him, but that 87 speed is going to make him borderline unusable for some people. Well, it really depends on what your rules are in your CFM as far as uh, moving receivers to tight end because uh, he would <laughs> pretty much be the best tight end in the league. Uh, <laughs> but most uh, Sim CFMs won't allow that, so you know it is what it is. Uh, moving on to the, uh, the probably the oldest guy on the list here, we have Julio Jones. Yeah, so Julio is where you start seeing some of these attributes pop out. Uh, 95 overall, he's got the 92 speed, so he's got a little bit of juice left in him. 78 strength, tied for the highest here in the top 10, so he's pretty he going to be able to run over some people. 99 awareness. Um, 97 ball carrier vision and 83 stiff arm. So he's, he's a little bit of a beast. He's going to truck some people. I think after the catch, uh, you can see him do some things. Also 96 catch in traffic puts him about fourth overall in that category. So Julio at that advanced age is still going to have a little bit of juice left. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting to see how he performs uh, this year. I think he's going to be, uh, have a spotlight on him this season to see if he's going to be the guy that's going to go up stay where he's at or go down i mean being with a new team new playbook new quarterback it's a chance it can go either way i mean no one really knows right exactly all right moving on to stefan diggs someone who was a gr good receiver before but he's become a great receiver on the bills and this is where you're going to get some separation, right? So Stefan Diggs, uh, amazing route runner. He is top three in every route running. So short, medium, and deep. He's top three, top two in a couple of them. Um, you're, you're talking about another run after catch guy, 89 spin move. That's the highest, 97 juke, second highest. Uh, and, and then change of direction, right? 96, second highest change of direction of this group. So Stefan Diggs, one of those guys, you're going to get him the ball. And then after the catch is where he's really going to make some things happen. Really not great in terms of jumping and release lowest uh to second lowest in both those categories so not a guy you're going to want to throw up some jump balls to but a guy that if you can get him the ball he's going to make some things happen yeah definitely he's uh one of the weak the weakest guy on the list too right he, yes he uh 62 strength so uh tyree kill actually stronger than a little bit weird yeah man gotta get him in the weight room uh so moving on speaking of tyreek hill the really legit only speed receiver on the list which is wild because madden if we all know madden football is always dominated by speed it's particularly at the wide receiver spot but here on this list he's really the only tyreek hill moving on to tyreek hill he's really the only speed receiver on the list and he is all of that and then in a bag of chips yeah, it's almost excessive right so 99 speed 99 acceleration 98 agility and 99 change of direction so right there like you really can't get a better athletically gifted wide receiver than tyreek hill is right like you're not going to find that guy so I mean, the only thing you can that's do where you're going to see some add four inches to him and make him like randy moss uh, yeah if you could do that that'd be great right <laughs> uh you know you know 93 jumping so he's not going to catch any deep balls i'm not you know jump balls i should say I, I don't think you're doing that at 510 or whatever he is you know anyways uh 98 juke move though he's going to break some ankles and 97 deep route running actually the best deep route running here in the top 10 so you're going to have another piece here that just makes him even more dangerous that's a guy that uh probably gonna dominate some franchises this year yeah i mean every single year i mean if you have you're a chief owner and you don't abuse and use and abuse this man then you're a terrible player at the game uh tyreek hill moving on to deandre hopkins who really was a dominant receiver last year and it shows a 98 overall i think he dropped the spot at some point he was in a 99 overall club especially if he made that catch and triple coverage but he's coming at 98 overall on madden 22 and what are your thoughts on this yeah, so Hopkins and Adams kind of look similar just at a, a macro level here. So uh, 99 awareness, 99 catching, 99 jump, right? So right off the bat, you got some 99s there. Catching, jumping, very valuable. We've seen uh, his jumping ability and catching ability there with the uh, Hail Mary last season. The 99 spec catch and 99 catch in traffic. Basically, you're going to throw a ball to this guy, and he's going to catch it if it's hit, if it hits his hand. So that's a good thing to deal with. 98 release, and then the route running, 97 short, 96 medium. So you've got a wide receiver here. Maybe not you know super athletically gifted at 90 acceleration, 90 speed, but a guy that uh, you get him the ball, he's going to pull it in. Yeah, for sure. I mean, dude is a total beast. I mean, uh, we, uh, the, the only thing that's positive in this one is that they do not have a vaccination rating. 
uh, in the game. So uh, he'd probably be a zero when it came to that. Uh, but moving on, we have Devontae Adams from the Packers. Is he going to be on the Packers uh, in the updated roster? Will he be removed? Will he be traded? We don't know. Uh, there's a lot of drama going on Green Bay in that front office right now. So currently, Green Bay Packers wide receiver Devontae Adams. Ah, he'll be there. He'll be there. And he'll be there rocking that 99. Now, this is interesting, right? Because like I said, you look at him versus like a DeAndre Hopkins, and he actually has less 99s across the board than Hopkins did. He's got 99 catching like Hopkins. He's got 99 uh, short route running, um, 98 medium route running, and 99 release. So few less 99s than Hopkins, but overall better across the board. A little faster, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. A um, little better change of direction at 92. So he's got some athletic advantages to Hopkins. But I think, you know, you look at Hopkins, he's more of that jump ball guy if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, Adams is probably a little better uh, version of Stefan Diggs here in terms of just being able to get some separation. Yeah, for sure. So that is your top 10 wide receivers in Madden 22. Let us know what your thoughts in the comments below. You feel like somebody was miss somebody got snubbed or you feel like some of the ratings are just off let us know in the comments below we catch you guys in the next video if you appreciate our content and all the work we do to bring you guys the latest news tips and gameplay from your favorite sports games drop a like subscribe sgo today you want to take your game to the next level then join sgo insider